Judy Herrick remembers what went through her mind after being diagnosed last year with breast cancer. The diagnosis was invasive ductal carcinoma. And I have to say the word invasive was more frightening to me than the word carcinoma because there is no way in that initial diagnosis to indicate how invasive that really is. She underwent surgery like this to remove the cancer. The goal of the surgeon is to excise the cancer with just a little bit, a small rim of normal tissue around the cancer, and that's called your margin. If margins aren't clear of cancer or wide enough, a second operation is recommended. I went in with the notion that I may have to have a second surgery. She did, and it was successful. Dr. Lawrence McCahill from St. Mary's Healthcare in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and co-authors studied reexcision or reoperation rates of more than 2,200 women. Participants underwent a partial mastectomy as their first operation at four health systems around the country. The range of reexcisions do not appear to be completely explained by the patient or tumor characteristics. Researchers compared second surgery rates from surgeon to surgeon and hospital to hospital. The study appears in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The variation in reexcision rates among surgeons range from 0% all the way up to 70%. Researchers say right now there is no set guideline for reoperations. We evaluated the practice patterns of 52 different surgeons, and there really is a great degree of variation in the care you receive by whom you choose to see. Judy chronicled her breast cancer journey in this book. Her last mammogram came back clean and clear, but there is one more milestone she is waiting to conquer. I think for any of us who've gone through the, the diagnosis of cancer of any kind, we always strive towards that five years. That is the pivotal point to say that I have gone through this and I'm on the other side. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.